Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the Marvel Legends Hobgoblin Build-A-Figure from the Spider-Man Wave. This figure is based on a design of Hobgoblin that I absolutely detest. I think it's horrible, horrible design. Uh, it does look mostly like it though, so I'm not blaming the figure. I'm just saying I don't like the design. That's a little backstory. The figure itself looks okay. Mostly functions okay, but there are definitely some issues. He stands about six and a half inches tall. The hood does not match the body. The body has some cool shading in the orange down here on the chest, a little bit in the shoulders, some cool sculpt work, but the hood's orange is definitely different. I don't think it's supposed to be that way. If it is, then just ignore that, uh, but it doesn't look great. The sculpt is good, and the sculpt of the head is really good, and the paint on the head is good, too. They even painted the gums and mouth, so that looks nice. I couldn't get my head to connect properly. It's supposed to peg in all the way. I could not get it down on that peg properly. I was afraid I was going to break it, so I didn't do it yet because I haven't had the chance to heat it up. But technically we have the articulation there with the hinge and the ball peg. The hood will probably limit that. The backpack is actually a separate piece. Uh, you can take that off if you want to. You can also pull the sword out of there if you want to have him just holding the sword like that. That's fine. Uh, You're not meant to have both here and here, but that's okay. The wings don't do anything, but they're fairly well painted and good, decent sculpt. The straps are soft, so they won't get in the way of anything. Ab crunch has one snap going forward, two snaps going back, so a total of three positions. Be careful, this is soft, but it still might break. Uh, watch that while you're posing this guy. He has a waist twist, which is okay. A super thick belt. I'm not sure what's up with that. Maybe that's how it was drawn. and I don't know that much about the design to know that. But it's really thick and looks really crappy on this figure. He has a little bit of a chainmail thing going on and the pouches are there, I guess. They're soft enough, but they're going to really limit the hips, which technically have the full range of motion as like Bucky Cap or anybody. So that's a good thing as far as the hips go, but this is going to really get in the way. Double jointed knees, full range of motion, no problem. Ankles, they go forward a little bit, they go back all the way, and they have the ankle rocker. I hate this design. I don't know if it's supposed to be so blocky looking, so maybe that's accurate, maybe it's not. That's up to you guys, and like I said, I don't know. But they do have some nice sculpt work and nice paint work in here on the sides there. Uh, it's not a bad figure, it's just a lot of little things that bug me. Like, for example, we have decent shoulder articulation, no problem at all, cool sculpt, but instead of a bicep swivel of the good kind, we're back to like 2004 bicep swivel, which is not good. That cut joint just looks ugly and it's not necessary, so I don't know why they did that. We have a double jointed elbow. They seem to be really floppy though. I don't know why, but they are. Range of motion's okay, but they're pretty floppy. Wrists have a swivel and a hinge, and he can hold his sword, which is actually kind of cool looking. Nice translucent plastic with shading on it, so I do like that. And he comes with a pumpkin bomb. Uh, I don't know if that pumpkin part's supposed to be painted. Uh, you guys can tell me, but it is sculpted like it should be painted. But it is all translucent, so I'm not sure about that. The hands are not the same. He can hold the pumpkin bomb kind of in this hand, and then the sword in this hand. So is it a good build a figure? I guess if you like this design, then you probably won't have any problems with it. Um, the really only biggest issue is the uh, cut joint for the bicep swivel and not getting the head on, I guess. It's not a bad figure at all, but I think it'll look better on the shelf than it actually technically is. You know, it's one of those things where just get it, stand it there, leave it alone, and it'll be okay. There are some technical flaws, but I don't think it's that bad. I wouldn't shell out a lot of money for it, like I said on the Odin ones. I don't know if it's going for a lot or not, but if it is, I would try to get it for less because it's not that great. It's not bad, but it's not great. So there it is. I will pose him a little bit here at the end so you can see him in action. Uh, you guys should check out Big Bad Toy Store. I recommend them for basically all of your collecting needs. And I think you should subscribe to my channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.